Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Gibran here from Realco Capital. Hope everyone's doing well this morning. And uh, we're through the first month of the year. Uh, I think January for real estate in Dubai was incredible, right? A lot of the big companies are reporting the last couple of days. I think everyone's reporting excellent numbers. The market remains very, very strong. And in fact, it looks like it's accelerating. Uh, but of course, there's some headwinds, I think, uh, that Dubai could pen potentially face, right? Uh, both macro, micro trends. Uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to make this video, talk about both the bull and bear case for Dubai uh, for this year and beyond. And, uh, you know, so let's have a look at that in more detail. So first, the bear case. And so if you're looking at the global markets, uh, no, we should always watch the global markets because they have more information than anyone else. And if you're watching, you know, the US markets, NASDAQ, S&P, they actually entered correction territory uh, before the recent rally. Uh, if you're looking at the China markets. It was a very poor 2021. And of course, there's fears over there of real estate contagion that could impact the global economy. And then if we're looking at crypto, you know, we saw a crash of nearly 50% before the recent rally. So a lot of the fears in the market are being driven by inflation. This is the highest inflation we're recording over the past 40 years. Yeah. And we don't know if this is transitory or, you know, this is going to be something we're going to live with for quite some time. So that remains to be seen. But if you're looking at the short term because of uh, supply chain issues, which are exacerbated by the recent uh, Omicron variant, it looks like 2022 will continue to experience high inflation and that will continue to put pressure and fear in the markets. Uh, and then if you're looking at commodity prices, right, which also impact inflation, we can look at at oil right now oil is at a level we last saw in 2014 and uh, you know according to some estimates we're probably headed towards a hundred dollars a barrel by quarter two uh, all that is in the backdrop of global warming very good article in Bloomberg recently talking about you know climate change and how Kuwait is becoming unlivable literally uh, and of course there are some trouble spots around the world like Ukraine and uh, Taiwan so things to watch out for so if you're looking at the local real estate market right I feel that there is a potential for buy exhaustion um, if you're looking at the velocity of off-plan launches over the past uh, 90 days, 90 to 120 days, we haven't seen so much off-plan activity in Dubai for many, many years. So there's a lot of people visiting the city, the expo's on, people are buying, there's transaction volumes, that's all happening. But there is a potential for buyer exhaustion just because of just sheer velocity of number of projects coming up. Uh, any buyer that's in the market is probably talking to three to four agencies. They are being bombarded with constant messages and, and different products. And I think it can become a bit overwhelming. So that's something to keep in mind. The last slide I'm going to put in the bear sentiment is the fact that the UAE will be introducing a corporate tax from 2023, right? At the same time, I think it's important to put some perspective on this. I think this aligns UAE with the, with the global economy in a better way. 9% is a very reasonable tax rate. Uh, you're not taxed if you're in a free zone. You're not taxed if you're a small business or a startup. And of course, there's going to be a lot of loopholes with taxes, as we know. So let's see how that goes. So now let's talk about the bull case. And with the bull case, I could probably put like 200 slides. I think there's a lot to love about Dubai in terms of where it's headed. But let's just narrow it down to a few things. First of all, the UAE is consistently racking as the best place to live and be, uh, you know, through through the through the, through the pandemic. So it's been 18 months since Bloomberg have been releasing this, and you know, the UAE has consistently been in the top 10. Now they're number one, right? And so people know that people are moving here. Rich people are moving to Dubai. Uh, they're setting up businesses here. Companies are setting up here. The markets evolved. It's more much more mature, and UAE is moving towards a more high tech economy. It's attracting even more high skilled uh, high skilled uh, talent from across the world and to top it off TripAdvisor just uh, announced Dubai is the most popular destination for 2022 that's big that's never happened before and it just proves that you know all the work that UA has been doing over the past 20 years is now literally starting to pay off and keep in mind we also have the World Cup coming in Qatar a lot of people are going to be going to the World Cup are going to be staying in Dubai and the UAE and traveling to Qatar right so th there, there are so many catalysts for Dubai over the next uh, 12 to 18 months and and so this market should remain pretty robust so we're definitely not in a bubble uh, you know if you're comparing this market to a lot of real estate markets in the world uh, Dubai has performed well but it, there's no way it's a bubble and a lot of banks uh, a lot of third parties uh, put out publications talking about you know heat indexes and Dubai ranks at the you know closer to the bottom because it's you know it's just not an overheated market but there are some sub markets that may be overheated you know so i think places like springs and sidra you know so you know you might want to be a bit wary when you're looking at some markets of the city uh, uh there's very little uh, investor speculative activity supply will likely keep prices in check especially 
especially for mid-end real estate. You should expect robust activity in the top tier of the market. There is a dearth of luxury, ultra luxury properties in Dubai, and they are being snatched up by ultra high net worth individuals from across the world. Uh, offline launches may slow down after quarter one when Expo 2020 ends, and I think that'll be a good thing for the market. Keep in mind the city is expanding, so we're currently at around three million people. Dubai is trans transitioning into a more high tech economy. We should expect uh, this population to be around 3.8 to 4.2 million over the next eight to 10 years. Uh, so this city is going to be growing and it's becoming one of the most consequential cities in the world. Um, and there's an increasing dearth of prime land because Dubai is not a huge city. And so a lot of the development now is going towards the outskirts of the city, which is going to continue to put pressure on prices in the in the in the prime parts of the city. So that is the summary of uh, the bull and bear case. Right. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but, you know, I thought it would be good to kind of balance it out, kind of see where the market's at right now. If you'd like to discuss this in more detail, leave a comment or send me an email. Our numbers here on the screen as well. Do get in touch with us. Uh, we often publish uh, reports on this market. We talk about particular hotspots, uh, off-plan opportunities, macro trends. So if you like the content we're putting out, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. And uh, we, we hopefully uh, look forward to hearing from you. All right. Thank you very much.